Number one, to come into the truth movement, if you're really concerned about truth, you've got to check an ego at the door, okay? You do not know everything. A lot of you think you do, but you don't. I certainly don't. Through your school system, through your education that you're so proud of, that builds your whole ego, your whole value in life, it's impossible for you to discard it and admit you were deceived. Let me tell you something. You've been deceived. It's not your fault. You can let go of your ego. Nobody's going to laugh at you except other people that can't let go of their ego. But people that have caught on to the con and realized the power grab that's taken place, they're not going to laugh at you, they're going to welcome you. I'm telling you again, the worst thing they fear is the hive mind. The one thing they fear is 300 million people in the United States coming together to, on one topic and saying, this makes no sense. We need answers. Why is the flat earth so important? Because it shows the deception. There are enough reasonable questions to create reasonable suspicion that we've been lied to. They can't afford to keep being asked. Whether the earth actually turned out to be diamond shaped cross-shaped, pear-shaped. There's enough to see that it's not what we've been told. And once that is revealed, everything these governments have done becomes illegitimate. That is why it matters. And that is why they will do anything they can to keep us fighting, keep us distracted keep us at odds against each other just like the entire world whether it be Christians against Muslims blacks against whites government that truly has your best interest your freedom at heart or does it sound like a government that wants to keep you constantly busy on paying attention to anything but what they're doing and this truth movement is no different. Because as soon as the topic starts going where everybody can actually make a stand and say, Hey, wait a minute. This needs to be answered. This is a big one. And I don't care what anybody says. The flat earth, the shape of the earth is the biggest conspiracy and has been used to manipulate, deceive, and control us all. If God forbid everybody came and started demanding answers and once they can't provide those answers, people realize they are busted. It can't be a mistake. It can't be anything but the deception and control mechanism it is. Flat Earth is not a PSYOP. Flat Earth destroys the PSYOP. Every PSYOP that's been used to control us for as long as they've known about it. So this system has been in power and control for hundreds of years ever since they convinced the rest of the world that they didn't know where they live and created this fantastical scenario to make people feel insignificant and to follow those that appear to know better. That are just better liars, deceivers, that have no conscience and will do everything and anything to everybody and anybody they can to keep that power. Because people are waking up. And no matter how much they try to suppress this flat earth mo movement, oh, it's going to keep moving one way or another. You can see it. People are waking up. So now, louder than ever, I can hear that clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's a religion. It's all a religion. You know why? Because government is a religion.
government is the majority of the world's true God because they believe that these people have some sort of power that, and they've even convinced us that we've given it to them. They still have us convinced in 2015, the age of instant communication, that we for some reason need representatives in a city that's not even part of this country called Washington, D.C. to represent us. That in this age of instant communication, we can't represent ourselves for some reason. That's how deep the brainwashing and the indoctrination has gone. They still have you convinced that this government should be run on the same system it was run when people were back on horseback using telegraphs and Pony Express. That's why they had these representatives had to go to Washington so that they could go back home to this group of a few hundred thousand people and say, well, what do you guys want? Okay, I'll go tell them. And they travel for a week to Washington, D.C. or however long it takes. That's why you needed representatives. Now I can push this button and talk to anybody in the world. What the fuck do I need a representative for? Because it's the power system, the control system. They have to keep indoctrinating you in schools, teaching you about everything and anything but where you live. Now they have to treat out all the money that was going into the educational system to control your mind isn't working anymore. People see how stupid everybody is. That is the failure of government. See, Flat Earth proves the failure of government, period. Because it's either deceived and lied and indoctrinated us all into a false system, or it's completely failed in making people realize if they really live on a globe, a lot of people don't see it. So your education system has failed now, hasn't it? In order to believe it, we've got to believe a bunch of math formulas that only a few people in the world can supposedly understand, and we've just got to take your word for it. Here in this age of all this technology where I can get on this phone, record this video, and send it out to the world, they can't seem to find a way to easily, simply prove to everybody on the planet where they live. It always depends on some formulas that the majority of the people don't understand. And again, the people that do understand it don't understand it. They either that know it's bullshit or they believe it's bullshit because it's just religion and it's not proven. It's just tailor uh, twisted formulas to fit their agenda. It doesn't wash out in reality. What difference does it make? What difference does it make? Yeah, that's their favorite line. Got a lot of people, what difference does it make? You can't figure out what difference it makes? If you can't figure out what difference it makes that the people running your world have fucking lied to you over and over your whole life, if you can't figure out that someone lying to you is trying to control you, Suppressing of information, of knowledge, is control. Deception of information and knowledge is a form of control. So what difference does it make? It makes a big difference because once they start omitting information or lying about information about where you live, they're doing it to control you. Period. Why am I having to explain this to critical thinkers in the truth movement? Where you live, it's been a lie the whole time, and if everybody would just come together and demand answers, they would be in checkmate. They would not know what the fuck to do. They cannot prove it. They can't prove the globe because it doesn't exist. So once you call on them, they're done. You then remove them from power and go from there. That rips down all the other conspiracies. You then have access to all these top secret government files that national security that they hide all the evidence under. The way you control billions of people is to keep them divided and fighting each other. So they focus on anything and everything but you and how you're controlling them all.